It's a growing problem for law enforcement and for health professionals nationwide. We're talking about the opioid epidemic, a growing dependence on prescription medication. But a group of local elected officials and other leaders are hoping to get a handle on it. They formed an opioid task force to find ways to combat the problem locally. Our Taylor Adonis attended the group's first meeting today for us. Taylor. Joe, Judge Barbara Canales says Nueces County is three times more likely to have a death resulting from opioid use per capita than any other major city in Texas. Canales says that's 10 deaths for every 10,000 people compared to the national average of four. Last week, Commissioner's Court voted unanimously to establish the opioid task force to address the epidemic levels of use in Nueces County. Canales says the group consisting of policymakers, emergency responders, health care providers, and elected officials coming together is a positive step towards decreasing those alarming numbers. She says some of their top priorities are education, training, and funding for the resources the county needs. She says they are trying to get help from partners at the local, state, and federal level. We want to make certain that there are opportunities to get educated. And here's the most important, to have services. This county needs to address how we will create services, inpatient and outpatient services. Canales says opio opioid abuse does not discriminate. It can affect youth, the elderly, and in between, as well as veterans and babies born with opioid dependency. She says she wants to see more pill disposal boxes in the area, places where anyone can dispose of their medication safely if it's old or they no longer need it. She also wants information available to the public that will let them know where those boxes are located. Judge Canales says the task force will meet once a month and committees will be created within the group to to make sure they work diligently to fight opioid abuse in Nuestas County. Joe. We'll check back and see how it's going. Taylor, thank you much.